Okay, ladies, you're live. Good morning, everyone. Let's see if we can get it to come up. Refresh, refresh. Come on. There we go. Okay, there it is. Oh, you're watching. Good morning, Echo. Hey, Bino. <laughs> morning, Dad. <laughs> Hi, Brianna. Hi, Ace. And Echo. Hi, Myra. Mine are just popping up. Morning, Johnny. What's that? We're playing commercials on FM. We're playing commercials on FM. Okay. If the brakes fluctuate, that's why yeah. it does that. Hi, Lisa and Lester and Larry, the triple L's. <laughs> Morning, David. He's watching because it's Toro Tuesday. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Yep. Welcome to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer Blackwell. And I'm Teresa Straub. We are here live on Z93 and Outlaw Country Radio stations. You can also stream us live on monstermediayuma.com. That's our website. Just click the Listen Live option, and we have that available for both stations. So mm -hmm. pick your poison there. And you can also watch us on Facebook Live, either on my personal page, which is open to the public, or we do share the link on the station page. That's right. If you do not currently follow us on Facebook Live, we encourage you to do so. It's just a way to get a behind the scenes of what goes on when Z93, Outlaw Country, and MonsterMediaYuma.com all go to commercial break. Jennifer and I stay live the entire hour. And we want to say good morning to all of our Facebook Live viewers so far. We have quite a few of them. Larry and Tina and Bino. Janice is even watching over there, too. <laughs> We've got David. And he swears he watched and listened all summer. Sure so. he did. But, but Allison <laughs> from AWC will be joining us shortly for Toro Tuesday because school starts next week for our Matadors. Sounds good. I'm excited to have her back. As am I, and maybe we'll get to hear about all of her world travel. She had a busy summer. She did, um, I, and I, it looked pretty fun, so I'm sure that she'll have lots of stories for us. I hope so, and we have Allison today coming up, and sorry, it's Tuesday, but our WTF gal Anita will be here. I know, she's throwing off our week a little bit. Uh, just a little bit. She's got stuff to do. She has a busy week going on, so we will be announcing that Bare Naked Soap Co. winner today. Mm -hmm. And then coming up tomorrow, this is going to be some good information. Sarah Wisdom from the library will be, be here for Wisdom Wednesday. They're going to be talking about STEAM story time or STEM, depending, I, I heard it both ways. Also, Facebook privacy. That is very, very important. Yes. They're going to be having an opportunity for you to learn more about that. And the class Cosplay Social is coming up. Already? Yeah. Well, it's this a, is the social. It's not okay, their event. Okay, it's not the actual event. Okay. They have people that enjoy dressing up uh, all year round. So rather than just one or two times a year when they have their different big events, gives them an opportunity to socialize. That sounds good. She'll give us all the details for that. Well, we want to remind you to get your entries in to win that Firehouse Subs platter. When, when do we draw it? Fridays. Friday? Fridays. At any random time, we'll draw. Okay, sounds good. And all you need to do to enter is text the keyword Firehouse, all one word, F-I-R-E-H-O-U-S-E, 
to the Monster Message line at 928-343-0993 and you'll be entered to win a platter, a, a sub platter. You'll get 10 bags of chips, 10 cookies, and a gallon of uh, beverage, usually like a tea or a lemonade. And that feeds 10 people, so that's, it's a great price, $80 value, and just for texting the word Firehouse. If you would like to check out our complete contest rules, head on over to monstermediayuma.com and you can find those there. And don't forget, you can text as many times as you'd like. So, I mean, I know that there's a lot of uh, businesses out there. Maybe you guys want to enjoy some lunch or, you know, it'll feed the whole family too. And we do have several different contests going on. You can text mm -hmm. the keyword LOTUS to enter each week to win a Lotus Day Spa and Salon $50 gift certificate. Mm -hmm. So you can just do all that at one time and people say, how do you keep it separate? Well, the keywords allow us to do that. That's why it's important for you to use those keywords. Good morning, Little. He is just tuning in on Facebook oh, Live. Good morning. I haven't seen you in a little while. Hope you are doing well. We miss your comedy on a daily basis. <laughs> <laughs> we do. We do. Well, today is National VJ Day. That stands for Victory Over Japan Day. And on this day, way back in 1945, news broke around the world. The Imperial Government of Japan would surrender, ending a long and grueling world war. Mm -hmm. In Europe, the date was August 15th due to the time zone. But regardless, the celebrations that broke out were no less zealous. And in the United States, President Truman announced it in a press conference at the White House later that day. The peace treaty was officially signed on September 2nd, 1945. And a year later, on August 2nd, Truman signed a proclamation declaring August 14th, 1946 as Victory Day. Mm -hmm. And imagine... When we have situation, obviously nothing on this particular scale. No, definitely. You know, right now. But when situations like that arise, or, or even anything else that is really newsworthy, look how quickly that spreads. Based on the way news is now, compared to how it was in 1945. Definitely. I mean, seconds later, literally, people have information that's out there. Today is also National Creamsicle Day. Yum. That is observed on August 14th, and it's the day to enjoy this refreshing summertime orange and vanilla treat. I love a good creamsicle. I like I like creamsicles, They're too. They're delicious. And creamsicle, creamsicle is the brand name of an ice cream treat consisting of vanilla ice cream on a popsicle stick coated with an exterior of flavored ice with the original flavor being orange. I like the orange ones, but they make a raspberry one too, like the pink mm. ones. I don't know that I've had those. They're really good. Because You do. can buy them in a combo box, I so do. you can just get one or the other. It's one of the first things that I found out my father-in-law and I had in common. Oh, really? So we would buy the, the jumbo pack that yeah. they would have at the store. So he would have a treat when he came over. Yeah, definitely. I remember the old school popsicle ones. Like now they're just the skinny ones where they had the two sticks. Those yeah. were the good ones. They used to get them at school, I think. I, I remember getting them at school where they had the two sticks and you can break them. Yeah. They're much bigger. Yeah. Share it with a friend or just no. one for each hand? Yeah. A double fisted popsicle <laughs> Exactly. Eater? Usually you can't break them because they'd end up falling, so you'd have to eat them at the same time. <laughs> What? Oh, Little's looking at the cat calendar behind you. Oh, our cat <laughs> yoga calendar? Is that what it is? Yeah. Yes. It's cat yoga. It, they get better as the year goes on. <laughs> They're kind of funny. I think, All right. I, I think I found that at the dollar store. Did you? It just had cats on it, and while well, they were doing yoga, so. Why not? Why not? They, exactly. offer, they offer yoga with cats here locally. Exactly. They I sure do. It's, it's a humane society of human thing, but <laughs> it, it's fun regardless. <laughs> All right, now, again, we do have Allison coming in from Arizona Western College for Toro Tuesday. So we have our finest maroon and gold here out in the studio. We, we like, do. We like to decorate it for her. We do. The colors also work if you're an ASU fan. So <laughs> there you go. Works in up. case she was wondering. <laughs> I'm seeing all the parents that are getting their kids off to, to college. college. They're getting set up in the dorm rooms. Oh, and wow. some are pretty involved with the decor. Yes, there it are looks some. Like, it looks like something off HGTV, <laughs> like if they did a, a dorm room right now. They're, they're trying to make it look like home. Yes. <laughs> if these teenagers' rooms at home look, look that like fabulous that? To, and clean, <laughs> that's the big thing. So, <laughs> I know how small those dorm rooms can be, though. Sandra says, good morning. Good morning, Sandra. We want to wish Naya her granddaughter is off to her first day of preschool today. That's right. Lots of first days yes. for, for all of our kiddos, regardless of the ages. Right. And a reminder again, there is an event coming up tomorrow. And we hate to, we're not doing this from a place of negativity. We're doing it from, ed, from an educational standpoint. Mm -hmm. There will be a community forum taking place tomorrow for Crane parents. It will be 6 to 8 p.m. at Pueblo Elementary School. 
and a nationally recognized expert in the area of actor, active shooters. He has over 30 years law enforcement experience, will be on hand. Jesus M. Villahermosa is providing parents and our community members with information on what techniques and strategies that Crane Elementary will be implementing to better prepare their students, their staff, and administration in managing legal threats. Lethal threats, rather. Again, this is coming up tomorrow from 6 to 8 p.m. It will be at Pueblo, which is at 2803 West 20th Street. Now, because of the adult nature of the conversation, mm -hmm. they are asking that children not be there. If you are in a situation, though, and you don't have any other child care lined up, they request that you call Pueblo at 377-3600 because they can help you work out some child care arrangements for that because it is, it's a very important situation. Like I said, we're not coming from a place of neg negativity. It's educational purposes. Yeah, definitely. Unfortunately, in this day and age, this is something that we actually have to think of. I saw one of my, actually my best friend posted, I, I want to say it's in Las Vegas, but I'm not quite sure, but there was another school shooting uh, yesterday and it hit close to home because she ha her friends have kids that go to these different schools, um, this school that, that had the shooting. So it's definitely some, that a reality um, that we have to deal with and why not be prepared. Um, I, I know I mentioned it yesterday, but as a parent, it would give me peace of mind knowing what actions are taking place if this is going on in my in my my son's school you know so i think it's a very educational um i think it's something very educational that that the parents should take advantage of and again you know it's a couple of hours find a babysitter um that way you're more aware of what goes on and if god forbid something happens like this in our in our area. i would like to see the other districts do something similar yeah. it doesn't even involve having to bring someone in just no. bring parents and guardians in and explain to them the the concept of how you're school will react during a situation because it might be different from school to school. I think the overall premise, there's a lot of similarity yeah, in how behaviors will be. But in any case, like you as a parent with a child in school right now, exactly. it would give you peace of mind knowing that you and your child are on the same page. Maybe speaking the same language too as far as how they may refer to shelter in place yeah, or, or lockdown. Very good point. We, we do live in a completely different world. We do. When we, we were do. in school, you know, it long are the days of the uh, the earthquake drills, and and they still do fire drills and things, but um, we have a little bit more to think of and, and on our plate, so that we need to be prepared for. So. I don't remember even having done the earthquake drills back in southeast Arizona, because we didn't. There there are fault lines that run through there, but not of the nature here in the Yuma area. Mm -hmm because is it the San Andreas Fault that runs beneath us? Somewhere close to us at least. And yeah, we used to get under our desk and you know, for, we would do it for, I think it was for like 30 seconds or a minute. You'd have to sit underneath your desk so that you were sheltered and things like that. And of course everybody remembers the fire drills because those lasted like 15, 20 minutes and you got out of class for a while, so. And well, I remember under the desk, but I think it was more of an 80s kind of situation involving Cold War, maybe not oh, earthquakes. No. Oh, ours but, were earthquakes, but it, it wasn't. It wasn't of the. <laughs> I wasn't in school. Sixties and seventies. So barely being born. In I know. The 80s. I know. <laughs> huh? Funny. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, I am middle aged. Okay, there. So. You're you know middle aged. Middle aged. But so. all that does is make us even older. <laughs> How about some birthdays today? Let's lighten this up just a little bit. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Our Firehouse Subs birthday shout outs are brought to you by Firehouse Subs and their Public Safety Foundation, saving lives through donation grants. Since the inception, they've already issued over $35 million and equipment, training, and support to our hometown heroes. When you buy more subs, you save more lives. That's right. Today's birthdays go out to Debbie Laguna. She's my cousin. Is she? And she is. She is a uh, ret She's retired, but she goes and helps out at the different school areas. She's always been a, a cafeteria lady, and now she goes for like special events. She'll do um, monthly, like the must. Well, Alice Burns, she does the Mustang of the month, you know, and she goes and sets up for all the special the tables for the special kids that week. And um, but yeah, she's my cousin, and I want to wish you a very happy birthday, and I love you. And happy birthday to Kendall Michaels. Happy birthday, Kendall. Also, Melanie Davis. Eva Felix is celebrating today with Stephanie Gomez. And this is a longtime friend of mine, Andrea Swan. She's a former Sun Devil, actually oh. from New York. 
Really? Yeah, she made it all the way from New York to ASU. Wow. Went to school there, studied journalism, and she is back on the East Coast. And Christy Simpson is celebrating today. She was my neighbor for a number of years when we lived out in the foothills. So, hope you have a wonderful birthday, all of you. And if you have a birthday coming up, how can they get on our calendar? All you need to do is go to monstermediayuma.com and click on the Today in Yuma tab and scroll down just a little bit. You'll see the Firehouse logo and the Celebrate banner. Right there, there's a little entry form. Fill out that entry form. It goes straight to my inbox. And again, give us 24 hours notice. That way we can make sure to get it in on time. And I know I say this every day, but it happened yesterday. Make sure you give the actual date of the birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh because I, I know I say it every single day, but I did get an entry yesterday, and I don't know what day I'm supposed to tell this person happy birthday. So We could just include it every day until, until they say it's past. <laughs> <laughs> but you could make it easier by telling us. By telling us exactly all what the, day it is. All the pertinent information. <laughs> all right, little, hey, you funny comedian. <laughs> all right, well, I do have to address my injury, my hand. I heard it on Saturday while napping, and I don't know what I did. So, because it, it was, the swelling was increasing you yesterday. You were fighting in your sleep. I, maybe I was. I, I, obviously, <laughs> you were. I went to see my wonderful, amazing doctor, who's just a great guy. And first, he went to shake my hand, and I said, oh, that's my hand that's hurt. And he goes, all right, let me take a look at this. Yeah. And he asked what happened. He goes, do you have a headboard? I said, I don't, my headboard is a wrought iron design and we have the wooden, like cherry wood poles on yeah. the side. He goes, it's possible you banged it, but just didn't know it. And it was right at that angle at the top of the center knuckle. You must have been like out, like I dead asleep. For I don't you know. Not to even realize Someone it. asked if the cat was in there, but I actually closed the door uh -huh. because she's, she's extremely lovey <laughs> and will drool and shed because she'll want to sit right on my chest. I think it's so funny that she drools. Because <laughs> she purrs. It's so funny. And no, I wasn't just lashing out in my sleep. So, I'm, so you have a bruise bone. Yes, I have a severe bone bruise, but yes. as you can see, the swelling has already started to go down. A little bit, yes. And he said, ice it and take about a week or so off, as you can see. I need a side which by side is, from yesterday. Which, which is which is good. It is. I, I can't. <laughs> no, it's good that he told you to take a week. <laughs> you want to see? <laughs> it's good that he told you to take a week off because um, it, with the, with the temperatures we've been having, it's probably a good idea you stay out of the heat a little well, bit. Well, I did tell the doctor. I said I feel like I'm wasting your time and my money. You know, your time and my time. He says, "Well, break something next time." I'm like, so no. Well, no. not necessarily what I want to do. No. So. <laughs> Don't say dead asleep, like you said. <laughs> All right, it's time to take a quick break here on Today and Yuma. We'll be back <laughs> after this with Allison from Arizona Western College. The show is brought to you by Classic Accounting. David and his crew have over 30 years of experience and knowledge, and you can trust them with your business, payroll, and monthly bookkeeping needs. Give them a call today at 343-1040. And Sprague Sports, visit their partner location, Truckmates. You must home for 3M window tinting, protect your car's interior, and keep cooler while driving around this summer. You can find them on 32nd Street next to Lowe's. And some of the folks that we really, really need to give thanks to this time of year yes. are our heating and cooling specialists, the technicians who come out at all hours of the day to make sure things are comfortable. If your system went out at midnight or broke on the warmest day of the year, no worries. Quick Refrigeration provides 24-hour emergency service. Give them a call at 782-3691. And our friends over at Advocate Pest and Wildlife Specialists, they are locally owned and have been providing pest control services in the Yuma area for over 20 years. They are licensed with the Arizona Game and Fish Department for Safe Humane Wildlife Relocation. Go find them on their social media because they have an awesome giveaway going on right now. You can find them on Facebook under Advocate Pest and Wildlife. It's today in Yuma on Z93, Outlaw Country, and Facebook Live. We'll be back after for the break. Don't put that out in the universe. <laughs> I know she's here. I heard I her shoes. You haven't? You haven't? <laughs> I heard her shoes. She goes, it's been so long, I forget what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I got out of the car and forgot my lipstick. I had to go back to the car and forget my lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your own piece of supplies. I know, yay. That's, That's why she needed lipstick. lipstick. <laughs> the disclaimer I provide <laughs> <laughs> whenever anyone walks in the room. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You never know. 
Oh my goodness. No, Larry, you did not win the Diamondback tickets. <laughs> if you got a text from me and responded, but as far as I know, you did not win. <laughs> as far as I know. How are you, ma'am? I'm good. How are you? Well, we miss you. I know. World traveler. I miss being here. <laughs> Did you really? I did. Did you really? <laughs> Is that not believable? <laughs> no, I did. Hi, Anita. <laughs> She's so coy. Hi, Anita. Where's uh, Janice? She's next door. Oh, that's Janice. Oh, I'm supposed to. Lori made a bunch of copies. Well, three copies. Okay. But she double sided this one by mistake. So these, you guys have to share that. If I, I hold, hold it up, up like that. Like that. <laughs> that's that's okay. Okay. Why don't we meet in the them. middle? It's cool, I don't worry. And then I forgot my cheaters, so I can't see. So that's <laughs> exciting. Does it help back here? Uh -uh. Or up close? Uh -uh. No, it has to be like, I don't even know. Okay. And then I make that ugly face. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, yay. Hi. Hi. How are the kitties? Or just the one kitty? The kitties or the kitties? Well, how many are there? Well, well, well the T's She's talking cat. I cat. saw I saw a T start at 10th grade. Yes. Trevor's in 10th. Is he yeah. like 18 feet tall yet? He is, I think. Maybe just shy of that. <laughs> He's pretty tall. The cats are great. Good morning, Destiny. <laughs> hey, Uncle Marty. I don't see these people pop up. You're just talking about <laughs> them. I'm just randomly, randomly talking to myself. <laughs> Janice says, hi, Allison. Hi. <laughs> I miss you. You feel so far away. But you're just like right there. She's, she's, you're going to call her over here. Mm -hmm. I'm She'll come over here. Yeah, she'll come over. <laughs> she's like, call her and over here. Anita's no. our guest after you, so okay. Janice yeah, She'll be over here anyways. Thank you very much. <laughs> Because, you know, I need a warm chair today. <laughs> <laughs> that feels like that's all I can really do today. I'm like, <laughs> we got to get back in the swing of things. I said it was my, uh, the, I know the humidity is up there, yeah. but it's right at that level. I get out of the AC car and my glasses fog. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. And it was the first yes. time that it has done that mm -hmm. this season. Yeah, yeah. it happened to me twice this morning. Maybe it was the ghost that she talks to that ended up hurting her hand. No, the ghost is at work. Elizabeth doesn't go to my house. We respect boundaries. <laughs> yeah, she leaves her here to mess with me when I'm in production. <laughs> I don't want Teresa to be alone. Ever. <laughs> Stop. All right, ready? Yep. Are you ready, Allison? Yes, I am. Okay. I'm waiting now. I flip it on. Here we go. Welcome back to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer. I'm Teresa. And I'm Allison. There you go. <laughs> She's back for Toro Tuesdays. The, I'm so excited. The Tuesday crew is back together. <laughs> and I think you may have done a little more traveling than we did this summer. We didn't do anything. Uh, I didn't do anything. I went to Winter Haven and Welton. Where'd you go? No. <laughs> to the W's. Winter Haven and Welton. <laughs> oh, we just kind of, you know. You hopped around. around. Yeah, just kind of a couple places. Yeah. A little yeah. East Coast. East Coast. Was there Midwest-ish? Yeah. Texas-ish? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. Midwest. Yeah. So, that's it. It's All not right. a lot. Oh, well. <laughs> more than I did. <laughs> I know. It really seems like we did a lot. I guess we did, but... Mm. Hey, crazy. you were enjoying the summer. Yeah. And getting out of the temperatures here to go to some hot, muggy places. It actually was... Um, yes, I said hot. Yeah. Dang it. Where's that? <laughs> the quarter? That's yeah. I will go get it for my purse and make sure I put anything. You know, it is, it's hard to be in the humidity when you're used to the dry heat, as oh. I air quote, but it was nice to get out of the hundreds. And, yeah. So. Just, and it rained, I think, pretty yeah, much I everywhere we went, it was raining. I don't know, maybe it followed us around. But anyway. Well, it's supposed yeah. to rain here tomorrow. See? Yeah. Well, and, and, and <laughs> it's all about me. <laughs> even, though the, even, even though the temperatures were lower, like last last night, the temperatures yeah. were lower. Mm -hmm. But it was it was still humid. Mm -hmm. But with that breeze, it was definitely bearable. Yeah. It, it was not bad at all. So mm -hmm. hopefully it was similar in the places that you went. Yeah. We well, had a good time. well, the official season of summer has not over. I know. It has not yet ended. It has not ended. Mm -hmm. School starts next week for right. for the last batch of students in Yuma I County. Know. I heard you earlier talking about everybody going off to college, and I know in last week everyone was going to school and first days and everything. Yeah, our first day is the 20th, next Monday, AWC starts. We're ready. We're really excited. We have all kinds of things going on next week. We have a brand new Welcome Center 
information center in the 3C. And it's um, if you're familiar with the 3, 3C, which is our big silver shiny building, um, the one-stop shops upstairs. And mm -hmm. so when you come in before you get to the Starbucks wing, um, the other wing by the post or the um, parking lot. We have a new center where there's a charging station for our students, oh, for their wow. cell phones and their iPads and all of that good stuff. And um, we'll always have an ambassador on site there, so she can, she or he can um, help you, you know, get around and give you directions and just kind of be there to hang out with you too. And there's some nice furniture, so that's a really nice addition to the campus. So we're excited. That's exciting. I know. Now, is it possible for someone to still get signed up for classes? Yes. Yes, I have to do Very that today. Good question, get Anita. You need to get on that. <laughs> so if they log on to azwestern.edu slash fall, that will take you right to our um, fall semester uh, schedule of classes. Um, I'm concerned if you haven't already done your financial aid and gotten enrolled, there there might be some challenges uh, time-wise. Um, you kind of need to start that in the spring. Mm -hmm. But if you are a registered student, you can log on mm -hmm. and you can register for the classes. And um, we also, thank you for segues, um, we have extended our hours. Oh, so our three. Yes, Anita. thank you. Why did you not see this? For oh. Anita. It's all, yeah, it's called the Anita extension. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> <laughs> and we are open till seven o'clock now, <gasps> Monday through wow. Thursday. That is That's awesome. They don't use my campus. That is Clear so that awesome. Up, make sure. um, so Monday through Thursday, seven a.m. to seven p.m. And we have um, taken our, our staff. And they've been willing to either extend their hours or they come in later. And so we're here for the students. So because obviously, if you're working till five, it's hard to you know mm -hmm. come out get out there. there and it, get, it can be a challenge. And, and there, there are a lot of students who are full time yes, employees, employees of, exactly. of other businesses. And well, they're they're at home taking care of their you know the family. And they just and so we, yeah definitely till seven o'clock. And um, that's for the whole one stop shop upstairs. So anything you need is that just for this week? No 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 no. Okay. It's for. That's a, that's a change. <laughs> mm -hmm. awesome. and it, uh, we started that August 1st. Perfect. So, yeah. So, definitely, if you are in need of a class, Anita. And it's not for me. <laughs> it's for my 17 year old. For me, I can do it right online. It's, it's for so her, easy. Her high school senior well, this year. I'll see you this afternoon. Then. Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. <laughs> we also I want to talk about. I know last semester we uh, had a couple professors come in to talk about the uh, cooking class that we started. Yes. This semester we're offering it in the evening on <gasps> Thursdays. <gasps> and we have a new professor, Professor uh, Debbie Face. She's a chef and she's going to be doing the. Um, healthy cooking class. Oh, I like that it's in the evening. It's I might evening. actually have to sign Starting up for 540, that one. 5.30 to 9 on Thursday nights. All right. Well, so that's a cool go. thing, right? Um, and there's still, I checked this morning before I came in, there's still a couple of slots left for that. But <gasps> it's filling up. So that's a cool class. Also, did you guys see the drone program we have? Yes. Oh, hello. We, we, we kind of talked with some people. We did. Yeah. We, yeah. Did. Yeah. we did. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. believe you actually had the professor in. Yeah, yeah we, we did. did. Mm -hmm. We had Bridget. Mm -hmm. uh, Bridget, yes. Professor Joining. Yes. Came in and talked about that. Mm -hmm. Right. And so that class, I also checked on that. There are some, there's two classes. The, um, again, I didn't bring my glasses, so I can't read my press release. The UAS uh, Pilot Ground School, that will be starting in October, so there's still room in that. And the UAS, um, just like the intro class. That one is going to be starting on the 20th, the week of the 20th, so next week. So um, again, there's still room. So if you're interested in becoming a licensed, certified, well, let's say certified, um, drone pilot, we have that option now at and Arizona Western. You can start with the classes for the geospatial technologies or unmanned aerial systems. And what I think is pretty cool, some of the areas that you could work in. There's public safety, <laughs> law enforcement, media. Right. You exactly. also have agriculture, which is huge in our community. Definitely. Science and real estate. People mm -hmm. think real estate? What? Well, of course. How well, is that yeah. possible? Well, gonna be it's this? it's yeah. how you, you can look at the properties yeah. and also get those aerial views mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. the, exactly. the photographs of the different things. That's where it also applies to media. I'm well, so glad I, that I printed this out. <laughs> <laughs> what? I just knew this. We Allison. are so brilliant. Yes. Well, I love all the, the new classes that you guys are having out there. The drone one, especially because mm -hmm. it is the future. There mm -hmm. is, like, you see it more and more. And there is regulations. There's things that have to be done. When you're uh, operating a drone, there is speci specifications that you need to follow. And mm -hmm. becoming certified will make it that much easier so you don't have any trouble when you're trying to do these things, whether it's for a profession or just for, for fun. So. Mm -hmm. 
definitely take advantage of that. And they're still opening for the intro class? Yes, definitely. Right. And that's something that, since we are the community college, we're the com college for the community, we do listen to those needs. And, you know, nationally, those those um, trends, and then regionally, those trends, that we, we, we respect that and we um, accommodate as much as we can. And so this program is definitely one of those uh, results of that. Well, if the different areas of employment did not entice you, perhaps the dollar signs will. Yeah. yeah. The average salaries for the geographic information <laughs> system technician, over 88 grand. I know. And the geospatial like, scientists and technologists, also over $88,000. Mm -hmm, yeah. Remote sensing scientists and technologists, $48,000. And a precision agriculture technician, $48,000. It's definitely a career. It is. And perhaps you already have a career and you're interested in exploring other options. We These classes are offered in the fall and on the weekends. Oh, wow. I mean, on the fall, in the fall, in the evenings and on the weekends and in this these, fall. These salary estimates are courtesy of mynextmove.org. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Small print, say quickly. <laughs> <laughs> so, but my point is, if you already are, you know, you're established and you think, you know what, I want to do something new and exciting, these classes are, you know, evenings and, again, we're answering those needs for the community. You are, and that's, it's a great foot in the door. Of course, right. Little says people in Yuma can barely pilot their cars oh taking trips down 4th <laughs> Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> He's not lying. <laughs> There's an in truth in what he says. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. many, many different course options available, All not right. only through Arizona Western College, but through your, par your partner yes, universities. we have the three schools, uh, U of A, NAU, and um, ASU. And again, I like to brag that we are the only community college in Arizona that has all three state schools on our campus. That is fabulous. It's really a nice thing. Yeah, we're pretty cool around here. I know, we rock. <laughs> <laughs> also, I want to talk about uh, Welcome Week. We did kind of mention that. Mm -hmm. Next week, week of the 20th. Um, I had a flyer that Sarah had given me, and I am not finding it. That's what we're doing over here. Uh, we're doing a selfie contest again. Last oh, fall we did that. I remember. And so, if you log on to our social media plat uh, platforms, the Instagram, pla uh, Facebook, Twitter, Twitter, Snapchat, Snapchat, everything. Um, you can find more information there about our selfie contest, and I think there's a pretty good prize or two that are available. So, uh, if you hashtag Arizona Western, can we enter? Our Do we have to be students? That we take with you. Yeah, you need to be on campus. On so campus well, as, as a student? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Sure. Oh. Why are you asking me that? I don't have my flyer. Is there fine print? <laughs> can I go find it on my space I'm just saying, right now? Yeah, go find it on your space. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We're the selfie queen, so I, I mean, and we're we have you on every I Tuesday. I mean, it's just maybe you just need to tag the, the hashtag. Hey, yeah, just, we'll just do it. And we'll we are we are it. we do want to <laughs> take a field trip out that way. Once the roundabout is done, we want to take a field trip to to actually yeah. show people how to navigate the roundabout, and then we're going to go visit you. That's really important. Both of those. The roundabout. Yes. 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 Navigating yes. the roundabout and coming to me. Yes. yes. Coming to me. <laughs> and how challenging is it to get to, to Arizona Western College right now with the construction that's currently in place? I, I know eastbound on and off ramps for the interstate are closed, and that might be challenging. It is very challenging. So you need to bypass that, come down to the next exit, or take 95 or right. 16th Street. Yeah, right. definitely sent that same message that we pushed in the late spring. Definitely be aware of time, especially next week. With I know the elementary and the high school started already, so that's kind of a challenge for I was those say, parents and students. They might want to give themselves a little bit extra time. Exactly, because there's going to be a lot of um, population, if you will, you know, a lot of traveling down there. So I would take 16th Street. And we want to keep everyone safe. Based on the number of accidents the last few days, oh, let's, yeah. let's be safe out yeah. there. A yes. little extra travel time does not hurt. It doesn't hurt. Just wake up Just a few wake minutes up a early. Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. all you got to do. Mm -hmm. All you have to do. Especially that first week of school. Because especially if you're a freshman, you, and know, you, don't, you, don't, you don't know where you're going out. and you're stressing out. And I know. Will, <laughs> yes, there, will there be, be people out helping direct yes. traffic? Or well, we will uh, be traffic, 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 but the, the traffic of the students mm -hmm. on, on campus. On campus. Yes, if you're we'll lost, have, yes, they can help. definitely. Yeah, <laughs> okay, there'll be somebody out there if you're lost and you're wandering. <laughs> and the, de check out the um, in from the new welcome information mm -hmm. center in the three C if you're lost. You can always end up at the 3C and they'll help you. I sure. was I was paranoid that I would be lost when I first yeah. started college. That's so what I, I was going to say. I went the, the weekend before <laughs> and I had my route all planned mm -hmm. out. I did that. I went like, because I went to school in California for a couple semesters and I wasn't familiar with the school and so I did that. I went really like a couple hours before my class started because I wanted to get a parking place and yeah, I was that person. Everything, <laughs> if, if you're at the main campus here, everything's centrally located. Yeah. You can still walk, but at Eastern Arizona College, it's spread out over the course of probably six blocks. Oh my goodness. Uh, yes. Across the communities, yeah. but you can 
pull up and park in front of many of the classrooms. Oh, that's nice. So that 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 did afford a lot of convenience mm -hmm. too. However, you, but you know, had to know where your class. Yeah, was. yeah, and everything was all <laughs> spread out. <laughs> all right. Thank you for helping me well, today because this is my first day back and I'm just kind of all over the place. We are really glad to have you back because yes. there's a lot of great things coming. It's, it's so it's much. That back to school anticipation. I know, it's exciting. So log on to azwestern.edu slash fall for all the information for the fall. All right. Allison mm -hmm. with the Arizona Western College, thank you so much. It's time to take our Lotus Day Spa and Salon selfie. We'll be back after the break. The show is brought to you by Classic Accounting. They have over 30 years of experience and knowledge, and you can trust Classic Accounting with your business payroll and monthly bookkeeping needs. Just pick up that phone and give them a call. Tell them Teresa and Jennifer sent you. That number is 343-1040. And Sprague Sports, check out the Sprague's difference. Buy, sell, trade, or consign firearms with free expert appraisals. Sprague's offers local price matching and a lifetime warranty. You can find them on 32nd Street next to Lowe's. And from repairs and maintenance to premium system installations, quick refrigeration brings you indoor comfort expertise that keeps you comfortable and productive no matter the weather. You can visit them online at getcoolquick.com. That's quick refrigeration, heating, and cooling in the Yuma area since 1955. And you must best advocate pest and wildlife specialists. Got termites? Never accept a positive termite report without proper evidence. An honest company with integrity would enc encourage a second opinion and proudly stand by their word. Honest and integrity in everything they do guaranteed. That's advocate pest and wildlife specialists. It's today in Yuma on Z93, Outlaw Country, Monster Media, Yuma.com, and Facebook Live. We'll be back with our WTF gal, Anita, after the break. Hi, Grammy Pauline. She's watching from Hawaii. Oh. She, lives, she lives in Hawaii. How's that for a field trip? I know, right? <laughs> Sounds like a Hi, Grammy trip Pauline. To me. I'm all over that one. <laughs> exactly. Don't have to it's ask me twice. We're going to Hawaii. <laughs> I know. We yes. Did you warn her? No. Smile. She had no yeah. warning. I had no warning. I'm like, oh my gosh, we're Yes, because it got me. Very important. It's very important, but it got me. I, only I didn't heard even realize it was. No, normally, I'll catch myself. I didn't even. I stepped away to go to the printer, and all I heard was, "Oh, I'll go get one out of my purse." <laughs> <laughs> I might as well bring one over. I have a whole bunch of them too. Then Eli gets mad when we go to different places to have games. He's like, "You don't have any quarters?" I'm like, "No, nope. put them all in jar." <laughs> <laughs> it's for my H word habit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I've been utilizing my advocate. I know. Cup. I'm about to steal Jen's out of her office. It works really, really well. She's not using it. Uh, mine works really well. I'm waiting for just that perfect moment. Because she right. doesn't drink wine. I know. And she doesn't like ice and stuff to keep no. it that cold. So I, like I want my Diet Coke with Diet Cherry and Whole Cherries. And that cup is, it's a foam cup, so it lasts pretty long. But this, will, this ice will last me all day long. A, f a styrofoam cup and a straw? I oh. know. I'm killing this planet. You are a planet so hater. So hard. Planet hater. <laughs> she are you, are you hoarding them for the day they get rid of them? Large carbon imprint. Are you hoarding <laughs> them? If you, if you see large shipments here, it's because I've been buying them all online. <laughs> Don't check my purse when I leave you your establishment. You can still find them at the stores here for like I don't know cents that, for like 50 I don't know that we're going that route either. Well, keep California out of Arizona. <laughs> I like that idea. No, because I like straws. <laughs> They'll have them upon request. I like them. Just em. in case you want it. In case you was wondering. I like them in different colors. And <clears throat> All right, here we go. I like bendy straws. Me too. Me too. I have a couple of those. You need those them. are so hard to clean. <laughs> they are. That's why if they're disposable, it's amazing. You just throw them away. Fill up those landfills and the oceans. Paper straws are the worst. They're terrible. <laughs> they they don't last long, and you start sucking up pieces of paper. So gross. It's horrible. Use a Twizzler instead. All right. <laughs> All right. You ready? Yep. 
Welcome back to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Teresa. And I'm Anita, your WTF gal. Welcome, Anita. Yes, we have you here on a Tuesday. I know er Mercury's not in retrograde, no, but things no. are just out of whack again. <laughs> I have a habit of doing that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, and, and there's a reason for you shifting or changing things up a little bit this week. There is, yeah. I'm going to be, I'll be gone tomorrow and Thursday, so I want to make sure that I was able to uh, talk about the topic today and get our, our Bare Naked Soap Co winner uh, announced because that's really, really important. It All is. Right. <laughs> it is very important. <laughs> so, um, but going into our WTF segment, I wanted to talk about um, something we have been sharing quite a bit in the station, um, just amongst us ladies. And um, my topic today is about communication, mm -hmm. because I think that in our ever-changing world, that's a topic that really needs to be addressed because we're not doing it well. We're not communicating well. And we can see um, within our families and friends how when they fail to communicate, it really is disrupting um, their lives. Mm -hmm. And one of the platforms I want to talk about is social media because as great as it is, as wonderful as it is for getting um, information very quickly, sharing a message, um, getting it out so that anyone in the world can, can be privy to that concept, there's a, the, the downside, the slippery slope to the social media. And okay. I think it's important we talk about it. Well, speaking of social media, before you delve into that, Yuma Police Department post just a few minutes ago because they've had multiple inquiries this morning mm -hmm. from concerned parents and guardians. There was quite a bit of police activity at Desert Mesa and Otondo schools this morning, but a few Yuma Police Department officers and sheriff's deputies were simply doing a walkthrough to become familiar with the schools and they're set up from 7 a.m. to 8.15 in the morning. That's oh, before okay. school starts and there's no known threat or incident that motivated this. They were just doing it to educate themselves about the layout of the school. I Very love that. that. I do too. And again, that's perfect. That's a perfect example of using social media in a manner that's going to get that message across very quickly, mm -hmm. reduce fear, and, and spread that confidence that, that people are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. So that's a, a wonderful use of social media. But we don't use it that way. Yeah. Um, a lot of us don't use it that way. I'm not a big social media person. You ladies know that. You'll we'll come in on Monday. And you're like, did you see this post? Mm -hmm. Well, no, it's funny because most of the times you'll comment on things that we I've sent you like either a messenger or even post on Facebook oh, about a week later, and I'm like, <laughs> Anita, are you barely seeing this? <laughs> but it's it's okay. You know, there there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong. With and that. I'm a firm believer. Um, I think a lot of the challenges that we see in our, the way we communicate is because we are behind a screen and there's the anonymity and that I'm going to quickly type this and there's no consequence to what I'm doing. It's just out there. Mm -hmm. And I'm a firm believer that I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to share my experiences with you face to face. I want to look at your body mm -hmm. language. I want to know that, that what I'm seeing is either impacting you in a positive or a negative way. And I'm not going to know that through a screen. No, It's not possible to know that through a screen. You can't understand tone. Exactly. Unless mm -hmm. they are doing bold, underline, and really trying to emphasize certain words that this is truly how they're feeling. But pe everyone perceives things differently based even on the same one sentence. Absolutely. I absolutely agree with you. I found a TED Talk that I think is very pertinent to what we're discussing today, and I wanted to share that. So if you go to monstermediayuma.com, click on the WTF tab. Everything I talk about every week, I do a, a fun kind of post about it, and I, I kind of have my... I, I throw my sense of humor in there. You really get to see who I am, my personality, and the way I write. Um, but I also try to share either a song or a video that I think really could impact you in a positive way. So this TED Talk um, really is focusing on how we communicate or how we're really dependent on our devices. Um, this young lady, well, this lady that um, I'm sharing her, her TED Talk, she was actually in New York when Sandy came through. And they lost, a, a large part of New York lost power. And she was talking about how she was going to the cafe every day so that she could charge her devices. And, and that whole element of needing to be connected. Mm -hmm. We are driven by our, our need for this technical device. And that how, the, one of the comments she made, I, I sat back and I, I had to listen to it a couple times because it really was one of those, I'm like, that, it struck me very strongly at how true the statement was. She goes, we now live in a world where as long as we have what we need, we perceive everyone else does. Mm -hmm. 
And so there were people in New York who were not, who did have power, were able to use the resources that they had and didn't have any challenges. And then there was a large part of the population who were suffering and because they were connected, it didn't matter. They had what they needed, everyone else is okay. Mm -hmm. And we, we I, and I think we see that in the way that we communicate with one another. My needs are being met, so I don't need to share that with you. Is it you. essentially blinders being put on? I think so. Well, I just think, again, this that whole, we don't know how to talk to each other, and we're seeing, um, and really starting to see this evolution with our youth, how, um, you know, it's starting very young. Even in preschool, they're using mm -hmm. devices to, to learn, and again, that's a good thing, but we're not, we're not spending enough time socially engaging with one another to be able to communicate effectively. And we're, if you look at the individual as a whole, we des everyone desires relationship. Mm -hmm. But you can't be in a relationship if you don't know how to communicate. So I'm gonna, I have a phrase I wanna share with you because I think it's pertinent. And it says, communicate, even when it's uncomfortable or uneasy. One of the best ways to heal is simply getting everything out. Mm -hmm. And that I I really want to express that because I we know so we have getting it out and getting it out face to face, not necessarily over social media right. or or you know a lot of people will put vague posts out there or even you know you mentioned the kids. I saw this video yesterday um, on Facebook and I actually shared it because I thought it was really really awesome. There was this gentleman that was speaking to. They looked like they were maybe fifth and sixth graders, mm -hmm. and um, they were talking about how social media is impacting their lives now and how it can impact their lives later. Um, so basically, there was a couple things that they told them to, um, to look at when you're putting a post out there. Is it negative? Don't post it. Mm -hmm. Is it um, is it hurting somebody's feelings? Those types of things, look at those things because Say you want to be a doctor one day, right. and they go and Google your name, and that negative post comes up. Or you're going to work with kids one day, and that negative post that you put out there. That, so I was I was glad to see. I'm like, we need this in all of our Absolutely. schools because the technology is there. The technology is in the classrooms now. They use the iPads and things, although... You know, the teachers are usually pretty good about keeping them on task and they can't go on the internet and, and things like that. But the, the technology is there and it's not going away anytime look, soon. Look, look at a couple, well, at least one example recently where posts made several years ago mm -hmm. have, are coming back. We had one of the Atlanta Braves pitchers, I think it was his debut, he was actually going for, a, I think that was the one, he had a no-hitter going. Mm -hmm. And they ended up scoring in the bottom of the ninth, it was two strikes, and then they got a base hit. So that, that ruined his, his no-hitter. But they found some posts that he had made a couple of years ago. And this guy's early 20s anyway. So that's even going back to high school. Well, And, and, and people will dig and they will find absolutely. stuff. You, you'll uh, uh, see it with politicians. You'll see it with oh, celebrities. Yes. Oh. They, they dig up stuff that is, you know, even when the Internet was not as prevalent, it's... A, it, it's uh, an interview that was out there. You have to think about the things that you're putting out, even as fifth and sixth graders, or junior high, or high schoolers, because it may impact your career later on. Absolutely, and, and we really need to think that, oh, you know, I, I posted that because I was angry in the moment, and I deleted it, it's gone. Well, it's never gone. Mm -hmm. no, it, you know, we, I know Sergeant Franklin was talking about how even with Snapchat, you think like I'm, I'm putting it out in the world, it's out there for 10 seconds and then it's gone. But the reality of the situation is 10 seconds is enough time for someone to capture that image, mm -hmm. save it and be able to use it later. And that's the world we live in, unfortunately. And it's not being used for good. Right. right. That's the situation that we're in because people, they, you see, you two weeks ago you talked about uh, kids, kids caught doing nice right. things. Yes. Or, or people in general right. and we don't see near enough of that it's oh hey how can I use this to my benefit to make mm -hmm. someone look really bad mm -hmm. and, and, I, and it's it, it's unfortunate that we have to think that way but that's the reality of the situation that we're in and I truly believe that we're in that situation because we don't know how to communicate little says social media is anything but social it's a projection of wants misconceptions and false fronts it never captures the true sense of the person I think there is a lot of truth Absolutely. to that and I think um, you know, in my post I use the statement you know many people are living a pseudo life through social media and I and because we we can project through social media what we think we are 
you know, we can pretend to be the individual that we want to be, but the reality of the situation is that's probably not true. And I think it's probably why I'm not on social media because I want to be authentic. I want to be true and I want to share, you know, I'm going to share with you the things that are going well, but I'm also going to share with you the things that are going really crappy because that's life. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and it, it's, Social media has ruined relationships. Oh, I, I know. Relationships I that I think you. had a strong foundation. There was a situation re recently with people near and dear to me, not here, but, you know, that live somewhere else. And it was back and forth among this couple that were in love. And it turned so nasty. And I said, I sent a message to the two of them. I said, this comes from a place of love. Your, your relationship is between the two of you, not anyone else. Absolutely. Yeah. And social media was playing a big part in that being run down. And I said, I think it might be a good idea, especially because one um, operates a business, mm -hmm. that you keep that on a different platform because they're looking at different endorsements and things like that right. elsewhere. And again, everything is looked at yeah. over time. And it never goes away. No. Nice. Nope. And it, always if there. you're in contention for something, it's like, well, that's going to be, I'm going to say, well, no, that's not a good front for our company, not exactly. a good face or any representation. Exactly. And it, it's not just a family, but it makes, it does not make you look good as a person. Absolutely agree with you. So, you know, again, Get away from the, the social media, talk to each other, mm -hmm. um, and really get to know one another. There are, the one thing that she says that I loved was when you stop and you actually take the opportunity to listen to someone else, there are hidden treasures in every conversation. You can learn something new if you go in with that mindset that I want to learn mm -hmm. something new. So stop, listen, um, and that's probably something we don't do well. I know that I struggle with that. I have a I shared with you guys that I, I'm like I'm the worst mom with one of my children because I don't listen to him and he's pushed my buttons enough that I'm just like I'm done. I'm like I gotta stop. This is not who I am. This is not who I want to be to this person. And if I want to communicate effectively, I have to listen to what he has to say, and I have to be open to to hearing what he yes. has to say, not what I want to hear him. Even say. if you disagree with what the con you know where the conversation is going, you have to give them the opportunity to speak their minds. Absolutely. And then you can weigh on the situation, but you still have to allow them to speak and communicate effectively how they want. To. Exactly. I totally agree. So you know, this process isn't just for me to share with you. I learn through these examples that I share with you guys every week because I want to be that better person. And the reminders. The, the, exactly. the reminders. That and that works human mm -hmm. and it's okay to be human it's yeah. okay to, to have um, weaknesses it's okay and it's okay to be vulnerable and, and I have to remind myself it's okay to be vulnerable with my children yeah. because I am human and I am gonna make mistakes all right, All right. Well, we, we, have a, yes, we have a winner we do have a winner um, this week's winner all she had to do was go to monstermediayuma.com click on that WTF tab scroll down under um, I already have this week's post up so you can look at, um, uh, watch that, that TED Talk video that I was telling you about. Um, it's right there. You just can click the link and watch it. Um, she scrolled down underneath my, that weekly post and went to the entry form. And because she took that five seconds, because it's all it takes to enter to win, mm -hmm. she got this week's um, Bare Naked Soap Co. $20 gift card. And this week's winner is Carly Bush. Congratulations, Carly. Yes, Ooh, congratulations. Boop. And again, we do usually do those drawings every Wednesday, but you can start entering now for next Wednesday. All right, let's go ahead and take a break. Thank you so much, Anita. Thank you so much, ladies. Appreciate right. it. That website, again, is monstermediayuma.com. We'll be back with more of the show after the break on Z93, Outlaw Country, monstermediayuma.com, and Facebook Live, both on my personal page and on the station page. Yay. Thank you, Janice. You're welcome. Thank you very much. You're welcome very much. Progressive's number one, number two employee. <laughs> huh? This commercial. Oh. It cracks me up. This is Jamie, Progressive's number one, number two employee. <laughs> <laughs> when they're like, and Jamie, he's like, present. <laughs> he says nothing <laughs> awesome about him. I'm like, poor Jamie. <laughs> Good morning, Sergio. I little doesn't share food. I know. <laughs> well, we just, that's not an episode of Friends. Joey doesn't share food. Just barely saw that one. And I think that might be where that comes from. <laughs> I, I understand not wanting to follow a group because of 
challenges that are faced. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm a firm believer we have to listen to both sides of the story. We listened to some very um, sides that we did not agree with on some situations. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we listened to them. It, it, it helps you uh, be more informed on what where these people are coming from. Absolutely. Um, not that we agree with it at all. Um, but yeah, mm, gotta. I do it for, strictly for information, like what, what Absolutely. is the mentality yeah. behind what, this what, what's, whole situation? Yeah. yeah, what is pushing them to have that thought process that, to make them think these certain things? Yeah. <laughs> say? The number one, number two sounds like a great stool sample. And yes, that's where it comes from. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Not from the stool sample, but from friends. Joey doesn't share food until she orders one dessert and he decides he likes hers better, but hers is the last one. So he wants to try and take a bite of hers, but she's not having that. No. <laughs> He's like, she's not going to come in and order a salad and then eat part of my steak and my dessert because she wants a, wants a salad. Joey doesn't share food. <laughs> and then Laura just popped up and she liked my uh, six year Facebook friendship. Laura is probably the biggest Friends fan I've ever met in my oh. entire life. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, yes. My husband's <laughs> cousin, Karen, lived in Chicago. And she, for the longest time, and she worked for one of the small, well, one of the um, venues, mm -hmm. uh, theater venues there. And she was able to work very closely with can't think of his name. Ross. What's Ross's real name? David Schwimmer? Um, at that theater. And she she loved him. Very down to earth gentleman, yeah. Well, we were talking, I think he looks, he's aged very, very well. well. Yeah. Yes, I agree. She's now, she's now in, she's now in Virginia, but she, she loved working there. I can, all I remember about her, her apartment was it was very small and the, bathroom you would literally had to back in oh my gosh <laughs> to shut the door or you wouldn't be able to shut the door oh my goodness all right you ready yep welcome back to today in Yuma. i'm jennifer and i'm Teresa. we want to thank allison morgan from arizona western college for stopping in for toro tuesday just a reminder if you missed that you can always watch it later once we're all done with the show you can see that feed but we do put it on the monster media youtube page a little bit later in the day Yesterday's show's not up. I was having some download issues. So I'll work on that today. Sounds good. We had a caller call in. Um, thanks for Janice for getting that call for us. They wanted to remind us that the Yuma episode of the Great Food Truck the Race. The Food Race? Yes. Is that Thursday? Yes, it is. All right. We, I, ca we got caught up yesterday, we, so we've I'm excited. Been, we've been recording it. I never really watched it before, but... It was kind of a little bit of a spoiler alert, even leading up to this week. Because we knew who we, was we in knew the four trucks or the five trucks that made it here. So I'm like, okay, they must get kicked off. So it's kind of like a puzzle right there. But <laughs> it's interesting. It is interesting. We watched, I think we watched the last two episodes. We watched the Las Vegas episode and the Phoenix episode. Um, so we're now caught up. And yeah, there'll be, I know that there was, Yuma, Yuma turned out for this. They the food trucks came through at a great time. We had um, we had a festival downtown going on, and um, everybody was excited. And I know that they did a lot of interviews with different people from Yuma, so it should be very uh, interesting. You know, they were at the territorial prison, mm -hmm. and uh, again, many of our local individuals might be on camera. So I definitely want to check that out. I know yeah. you'll see. Oh, I know that. I know that. I know that building. Well, and 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 and, and if you've watched it before, you will see that in a lot of these places, even in. Phoenix, they had a hard time getting people to show up to buy food, and that was not the case in Yuma. There was long lines, so I think it's going to be a great, great representation of Yuma, and I think just another example of how people are noticing Yuma now. You know, we're not just that drive-through city. They could have just drove right past us and mm -hmm. picked another city, but they didn't. They and uh, we're doing the, the Southwest, so I like that they're including different elements. You know, of the border community here right. that that we're I'm located to, in. I'm trying to. Remember the wording he used yesterday when he announced that they were going to Yuma, but something like a little town full of cowboy history and things. So it, it was really cool to, like I said, to, to have them here 
initially, but the fact that they even stopped, we're not a gas point anymore, people are actually stopping to see what Yuma has to offer, and I think that's just fantastic. Linda Morgan even shared that recently. Yeah. The Visit Yuma, the Visitor's Bureau, that, you know, we're not just a quick little stop off to get gas, maybe grab a bite to eat, though there's stuff to see here and things to do. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And, and we've seen a lot more articles in, in being written about Yuma and the wonderful places there are to eat and all the different things. So I'm excited. I didn't, I didn't realize it was Thursday. Like I said, I had been, um, I had been recording Catching it, up. so I didn't know which day it was on. I'm glad that they called and let us know that it's this week. So. Yes, you know, Yuma's been a pretty cool spot for several things that have been filmed. There's oh, one, yeah. of, one of the Ghost mm -hmm. Hunter episodes was a, a territorial prison. Mm -hmm. We had, was it the Gas Monkey Garage guys? What's that one called? Fired Up? I don't know. I don't remember, but it's Richard Rawlings out of Dallas. Mm -hmm. They came and bought an old VW bus here from a guy that I think I was telling Anita yeah. it was at the Indianapolis Speedway. Oh, wow. And the guy showed up for a bunch of years consecutively, and he's got some honorary paperwork and stuff, and that was right here in our community. Little pieces of history like that that we might not ever even know about. No, definitely. So if you have something you'd like to share it with us, go ahead. Yeah, sure. All right, it's today in Yuma on Z93 Outlaw Country, MonsterMediaYuma.com. Coming up tomorrow, Sarah Wisdom from the Yuma County Library District. Again, lots of great things in store tomorrow, plus some giveaways, so you'll definitely want to stay tuned for that. Up next, I'm Bob and, Bob and Sherry on Z93. I don't know what's on Bob and Sherry. But, but they're they, up next. But they're on, on Z93 <laughs> and on Outlaw Country, top of the hour news, and then your favorite classic country music game, two from the D-backs later. Hopefully they can take this one. It's just a quick little two-game series. Come on, guys. KCYK Yuma and KLJZ Yuma. Oof. Gotta keep that number one Look spot. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks, little. We're so glad having you on yes. today.